Hello guys, welcome back to Ventilate And guys, what a day Right, I reckon this is a huge achievement Look at this, 15 out of 30 So I'm halfway there And I should be able to upgrade these bad boys Why not, you know, get a bit of a boost A boost, a big boost And look guys, it's it was an interesting tournament. Let me show you. Bang, chicka chicka wow wow. Well. I was able to overtake this American with Chinese words here, guy. Um, but I was not able to hit number one. I just didn't have the time. That's going to require a lot more. I'm pretty sure I'll need another monument to be able to beat that guy. So it wasn't going to happen. It is what it is. But yes, I was able to unlock a monument ramp it up in the last three hours and hit that and got that so look at my prize hmm i could use that skill points i feel like you forever need skill points it's just one of those things that's just always going to be helpful right and i'll show you a little bit of my skills so basically i have fully done my royal contract which i'm very happy with and i've done my Full terrifying pack, which means my contracts are high up and ready to go. I think the next one is probably gonna get the uh, loaded dice, and this is all ready to go. It's all set, nothing too crazy. But yes, guys, so this is what's gonna happen when you hit uh, your monument uh, season, and you're gonna be able to slowly unlock one after the other. And what's gonna happen is that you're gonna have to be patient, right? You can't just keep pushing, pushing, and just farm, 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 farm. Sometimes you ride away another day and then start farming. It's a bit of an equilibrium. You gotta figure out what's best for you. And if you're able to farm a certain amount, and you know that, say, you only need, uh, say, like, for example, like 50 farms to get a new monument, that's probably a good spot to be in and for you to be able to farm it up and get to that. However, on the other hand, you gotta remember, you can start upgrading all your other monuments to where your desired uh, amount is and then wait for another day get the monument boosters and then bang you're right back up there and you only require say 40 prestigious or even 35 prestigious instead of 50 and that's going to make a huge impact for the long run so knowing when to actually push for a farm it's going to take a bit of time and this is what i have discovered because look i literally tried i did like a hundred prestigious and barely reach it and all i needed to do was wait a couple of days and then prestige so it's it's a bit of a balancing and i feel like this is a lot more balanced than the actual game itself previously because it just felt like forever right when you used to have relics and stuff where it actually meant something it just felt like forever before you were able to even make any impact on anything Whereas today, it actually makes a lot more sense to monuments. Um, it really is a lot more balanced, I would say. However, some of you may disagree because I know people that have played the season for a few times think that, you know, this and that. And I've seen a lot of negative comments on Reddit. So it is what it is. I think people are just sour. However, at the end of the day, we have to remember this is a free to play game. This is actually pretty insane. The fact that it's a free to play game and it's updates constantly and there's always events happening. Uh, the AT is, is absolutely amazing. And I, I think they're one of the first people to do kind of like a side event outside of the normal game to keep the game alive. And I think that's very, very vital to the health of the game. So I'm not gonna hate on you guys. I am gonna continue to keep playing and I, I do enjoy it a lot. So, um, here is a little bit of an example I'm going to give you. So I can literally upgrade, say, 500 of that. Like, why would I not? That is more than 10%. I'm talking about 15 to 20% of increase in damage. And honestly, I'll tell you, it's not going to really give me a lot of levels. Um, even towards the end of it, like, you're not going to get the highest stage range from it. So it's not really going to change a lot, even with 
15% off a monument upgrade. However, I feel like it is vital for the long run, so longevity. So when you wait for the next day and the day after, when you get all these monument boosters, I'll show you what I mean. These bad boys right here is the deciding factor of how much you're gonna be able to get, right? And I feel like in this season, what I'm trying to do is literally try and get as high as I can, which is exactly what everyone's trying to do. But when I get to the highest possible, I'm gonna get the best kind of crafting sets that I can get. And I'm gonna start using my crafting shot, uh, shots, yep, that's correct. And get the best equipment that I can, so that when I get to the new season, the next following season, that I should be able to then bang straight through it and head back up to at least half of where I am. So that's exactly what I think has happened because I literally saw people at some crazy levels. Look at that, how are they 455,000? That's just insane, right? And so that is what I'm gonna try and do and maybe in the next season, I should be able to be in the top 100. So I will book out, I'll keep farming and I'll see where I go. But like everything else guys, I really appreciate the support. I know it's a small channel, I know it, it, I'm not massive, I'm not the most entertaining, but look guys, I'll keep updating you. I'm gonna try the best I can. If you have anything you wanna ask me, ask me. Um, and any tips and tricks guys, please define what kind of tips and tricks because this game is so complicated. There's so much going on. You need to ask me specifically what you want and I can give you what you want and what you're asking for. And that's it for me guys tonight. I will, I will see you tomorrow at the Abyssal Tournament. Make sure you look at Orca. That's my little hint right there. Discord Orca. If you can't even find that, guys, I guess you don't deserve to win any tournaments, okay? Uh, you don't deserve to win any Abyssal Tournaments. But if you do, you shall win. I will see you guys at the Abyssal Tournament. I'll catch you all later. Bye-bye.